Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. We will now pray the Holy Rosary. Please all kneel. O Sacred Feast, in which we partake of Christ, His sufferings are remembered, our minds are filled with His grace, and we receive the pledge of the glory which is to be ours. You gave them bread from heaven to be their food. And this bread contained all goodness. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you gave us the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of the sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you won for us and the peace of the kingdom where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ your Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We will now meditate on the five sorrowful mysteries. The first mystery is the agony in the garden. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The second sorrowful mystery is the scourging at the pillar. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God. Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The third sorrowful mystery is the crowning with thorns. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fourth sorrowful mystery is the carrying of the cross. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. 
Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fifth sorrowful mystery is the crucifixion and death of Jesus. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen. Mother of mercy, hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To you do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To you do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious Advocate, your eyes of mercy toward us. And after this, our exile, Show unto us the blessed fruit of your womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Queen of the Holy Rosary of Manawag, pray for us. That we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant we beseech you, that meditating upon these mysteries of the Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through Christ our Lord. Amen. Behold the faithful and prudent steward whom the Lord has set over his household 
The Lord has shown him his love and covered him with glory. He has clothed him in splendid garments. Let us pray. Father, you entrusted our Savior to the care of St. Joseph. By the help of his prayers, may our church continue to serve her Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Jubilee Prayer for the Golden Anniversary of the Dominican Province of the Philippines. O God, our Father and Creator, in whom we live and move and have our being, we praise you. As we gather in gentle grace and gratitude on this Jubilee of the Dominican Province of the Philippines, O God the Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, we preach you as the way, the truth, and the life, whose name we proclaim, whose love we strive to incarnate. O God, the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide, we bless you and seek the outpouring of your presence and the witness of our words and works and the consecration of our lives to the holy preaching. In speaking only to you and about you, let our celebration be filled with fidelity to our mission, with hope for your promise, and with true charity binding us all in the gospel we share to all peoples. By your will, O God, in your name, O Lord. Amen. Our Lady of the Holy Rosary, pray for us. Our Holy Father, Saint Dominic, pray for us. Please be seated for a while. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Today is the Friday of the third week of Lent. We will now have the morning prayer of the Church integrated with a celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please all stand. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Today, if you hear the voice of the Lord, harden not your hearts. Today, if you hear the voice of the Lord, harden not your hearts. Come, let us sing to the Lord, and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Today, if you hear the voice of the Lord, harden not your hearts. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in His hands the depths of the earth, and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to Him, the dry land too, for it was formed by His hands. Today, Today if you hear the voice of the Lord, of the Lord harden not your hearts. Come then, let us bow down in worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For He is our God, and we are His people the flock he shepherds. Today, Today if you hear, hear the, the voice of the Lord, of the Lord harden, harden not your hearts. As your fathers did in the wilderness, when at Meribah and Massa, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Today, Today if you hear, hear the voice of the Lord, Lord harden, harden not your hearts. hearts. Forty years I endured the generation. I said, they are people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Today, Today if you hear, hear the voice, voice of, the Lord, of the Lord, harden not your, your hearts. hearts. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Today, Today if you, you hear, hear the voice of the Lord, of the Lord harden, harden not your, your hearts. hearts. Please be seated. Come, let us give thanks to the Lord. For his great love is without end. 
You alone I have grieved by my sin. Have pity on me, O Lord. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness, in your compassion, blot out my offense. O wash me more and more from my guilt, and cleanse me from my sin. My offenses truly I know them. My sin is always before me. Against you, you alone, have I sinned. What is evil in your sight I have done? That you may be justified when you give sentence, and be without reproach when you judge. O see in guilt I was born, a sinner was I conceived. Indeed you love truth in the heart, then in the secret of my heart teach me wisdom. O purify me, then I shall be clean. O wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear rejoicing and gladness, that the bones you have crushed may revive. From the, my sins turn away your face, and blot out all my guilt. A pure heart create for me, O God. Put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help. With a spirit of fervor sustain me, that I may teach transgressors your ways and sinners may return to you. O oh, rescue me, God, my helper, and my tongue shall ring out your goodness. O oh, Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For in sacrifice you take no delight. Burnt offering from me you would refuse. My sacrifice a contrite spirit, a humbled contrite heart you will not spurn. In your goodness show favor to Zion. Rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with lawful sacrifice, holocausts offered on your altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Truly we know our offenses, Lord, for we have sinned against you. Let my eyes stream with tears, day and night, without rest, over the great destruction which overwhelms the virgin daughter of my people over her incurable wound. If I walk out into the field, look, those slain by the sword. If I enter the city, look, those consumed by hunger. Even the prophet and the priest forage in a the land they know not. Have you cast Judah off completely? Is Zion loathsome to you? Why have you struck us a blow that cannot be healed? We wait for peace to no avail for a time of healing, but terror comes instead. We recognize, O Lord, our wickedness, the guilt of our fathers, that we have sinned against you. For your name's sake, spurn us not, disgrace not the throne of your glory. Remember your covenant with us, and break it not. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Cry out with the Lord is God, we are his people, the flock his shepherds. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him, singing for joy. Know that he, the Lord, is God. He made us, we belong to him. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Go within the gates, giving thanks. Enter his courts with songs of praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. Indeed, how good is the Lord, eternal his merciful love. He is faithful from age to age. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Please all stand. Let us pray. Pour your grace into our hearts, we pray, O Lord, that we may be constantly drawn away from unruly desires and obey by your own gift the heavenly teaching you give us through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Thus says the Lord, Return, O Israel, to the Lord your God. You have collapsed through your guilt. Take with you words and return to the Lord. 
say to him, Forgive all iniquity and receive what is good, that we may render as offerings the bullocks from our stalls. Assyria will not save us, nor shall we have horses to mount. We shall say, No more, our God, to the work of our hands, for in you the orphan finds compassion. <laughs> I will heal their defection, says the Lord. I will love them freely, for my wrath is turned away from them. I will be like the dew for Israel. He shall blossom like the lily. He shall strike root like the Lebanon cedar, and put forth his shoots. His splendor shall be like the olive tree, and his fragrance like the Lebanon cedar. Again they shall dwell in his shade, and raise grain. They shall blossom like the vine, and his fame shall be like the wine of Lebanon. Ephraim, what more has he to do with idols? I have humbled him, but I will prosper him. I am like a verdant cypress tree. Because of me, you bear fruit. Let him who is wise understand these things. Let him who is prudent know them. Straight are the paths of the Lord. In them the just walk, but sinners stumble in them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I am the Lord your God. Hear my voice. I am the Lord your God. Hear my voice. An unfamiliar speech I hear. I relieved his shoulder of the burden. His hands were, for, were freed from the basket. In distress you called, and I rescued you. I am the Lord your God. Hear my voice. Unseen I answered you in thunder. I tested you at the waters of Meribah. Hear my people, and I will admonish you. O Israel, will you not hear me? I am the Lord your God. Hear my voice. There shall be no strange god among you, nor shall you worship any alien god. I, the Lord, am your God, who led you forth from the land of Egypt. I am the Lord your God. Hear my voice. If only my people would hear me, and Israel walk in my ways, I would feed them with, a be with the best of wheat, and with honey from the rock I would fill them. I am the Lord your God. Hear my voice. Please all stand. Repent, says the Lord, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. One of the scribes came to Jesus and asked him, Which is the first of all the commandments? Jesus replied, The first is this, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is Lord alone. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. The scribe said to him, well said, teacher. You are right in saying he is one and there is no other than he. And to love him with all your heart, with all your understanding, with all your strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself is worth more than all burnt offerings and sacrifices. And when Jesus saw that he answered with understanding, he said to him, You are not far from the kingdom of God. And no one dared to ask him any more questions. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Nung tayo mga bata pa, 
para ang sarap maging kapwa. Sapagkat lahat ng ating mga kababata o mga kaklase, kapag tinanong sila tungkol sa kanilang mga pangarap o ano ang gusto nila sa kanilang paglaki, o ay uh, laging kakambal ng kanilang mga pangarap o kanilang gusto sa kanilang paglaki ay ang pagmamahal sa kapwa. Maging man siya, siya man ay maging pulis, doktor, abogado, engineer, no? laging kakambal ng pangarap na ito ay dahil kapag tinanong mo siya kung bakit niya gusto maging kung ano ang gusto niya, ang nangyang dahilan ay dahil gusto kong makatulong sa aking kapwa. Kaya nga iba sa atin ang harap na lang maging kapwa sapagkat alam natin nandyan ang ating mga kababata, nandyan ang ating mga kakaklase, sa ating pagtanda, nariyan sila upang tayo ang unang iisipin nila ang kanilang kapwa. Marahil iba sa atin ay hindi na nangarap at uh, nagpakabuti na lang na maging kapwa para sa iba. Sumalit sa ating pagtanda, sa ating paglaki, sa panahon natin ngayon, para ang hirap maging kapwa lang no? at umasa sa tulong, sa awa o pagmamahal no, ng ibang tao. Sapagkat tilang nakalimutan ng ating mga kababata o ng ating mga kaklase no, ang kakambal ng kanilang mga pangarap. Marahil ay narating na nila ang kanilang mga pangarap. Sila ay naging doktor na, naging nurse, naging polis, naging abogado, naging inyero at uh, lumago at gumanda na ang kanilang pamumuhay. Subalit na saan na yung dahilan ng kanilang mga pangarap na iyon, yung pagmamahal sa kapwa. Parang ang bilis nating makalimot o ang daling makalimot tungkol sa ating kapwa kahit na hawak-hawak natin ang ating mga pangarap. At hindi ito kakaiba sa panahon natin. Maging sa panahon noon pa, no, ay, uh, marahil ay normal na no, sa isip ng tao na no, nakalimutan ang iba. Kaya maging sa ating kasaysayan, no, sa simula ng ating kasaysayan, nung pinatay ni Cain ang kanyang kapatid na si Abel, tinanong siya ng Diyos na saan ang iyong kapatid? At ang kanyang sagot, Ako ba dapat ang nangangalaga sa aking kapatid? Am I my brother's keeper? It seems that even at the beginning of our history, we have forgotten about our own brother, our own neighbor, our kapwa. And as we forge no, our dreams, no, we simply forget about many things. Sometimes, even about God. No, kapag ka malago at mas masagana ng ating buhay, no, minsan iniisip na lang natin ang ating mga sarili. Wala na ang Diyos sa buhay natin. Paano pa natin kakailanganin ang Diyos kung mayaman naman tayo, kung makapangyarihan naman tayo? Bakit pa natin kakailanganin ang Diyos kung tayo ay malaya, kung tayo ay masaya, kung tayo ay masagana? Nakakalimutan natin ang Diyos, nakakalimutan natin maging ang ating kapwa. Sa Ebanghelyo ngayon, ay tinanong ng isang eksperto sa batas, ang Panginoon. Panginoon, ano ba ang unang uh, batas? What is the first of all the commandments? He knew that there were many commandments, but he was asking the Lord, what was the first? And then the Lord gave him first and second So not only one, but the Lord gave him two answers to his one question. And the first of all commandment is that, Here, O Israel, the Lord is God alone. Therefore, you shall love the Lord with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. That could have sufficed you know, the question of the expert of the law, the scribe, you know, because he was only asking for the first of the commandments. But then the Lord said, The second is this. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. So Jesus gave him two answers to his one question. Why? Because Jesus was trying to remind them and remind all of us that the completion and the perfection of the first commandment is actually on the second commandment. It will only be meaningful to love God with all our heart, mind, soul, and strength if we will include our neighbor to love them as ourselves. So what does it mean to love the neighbor as ourselves? It's actually to also love ourselves. Because it is not about the neighbor, in fact. It is not just about the neighbor, but it is also about us. 
love the neighbor as yourself. So, ibig sabihin, dapat mahal mo rin ang iyong sarili. Sapagkat kung hindi mo mahal ang iyong sarili, ay hindi mo rin kaya, kayang mahalin ang iyong kapwa. Because the measure of your love for your neighbor is the measure that you have for yourself. The love that you have for yourself. That is why you love your neighbor as yourself. Kaya nga siguro nakakalimot tayo sa ating kapwa at maging sa Diyos. Sapagkat nakalimutan na rin natin ang ating mga sarili. Nakalimutan natin mahalin ang ating mga sarili. Nakalimutan natin patawarin ang ating mga sarili. Nakalimutan natin alagaan ang ating mga sarili. Marahil ay oo, pagod na pagod tayo sa araw-araw na ginagawa natin, busy-busy tayo sa mga trabaho at kung ano-ano pang mga ginagawa natin sa araw-araw. At bago matapos ang araw o bago matapos ang ating buhay, no, tayo ay nakaratay sa banig ng uh, uh, karamdaman, sabi nga. No, at an early age of our lives, no, we get sick because we get so tired working and abusing ourselves. Why? Because we fail to love ourselves. And if we forget about ourselves, it will be easy to forget about our neighbor because the measure we give to our neighbors is based on how much we give on ourselves. So the reminder of the Lord today for all of us is the love affair that we have. The commandment is about love. Love God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. Easy. Madali sa atin yung pagkat personal. No? Wala namang makapagsasabi o magtatanong sa atin kung gaano natin kamahal ang Diyos. O hanggang saan, hanggang kailan mamahalin natin ang Diyos. Tayo lang makapagsabi noon. Sapagkat ito ay personal na bagay sa atin. It is between me and my God. But then the Lord said, My love affair with you is not simply about you and me. This is not an exclusive love affair, but my love affair with you is a, lo is a love triangle. It's me and you and your neighbor. Unless you include your neighbor in this love affair, it will not be meaningful. It will not be complete. So it is about the three of us, me, you, and the others. Include all these three. Having none or having one out of the picture, it will be incomplete. It will be imperfect. It will be meaningless. Tanggalin mo ang yung sarili, it will be meaningless. Tanggalin mo ang Dios, it will be meaningless. Tanggalin mo ang yung kapwa, and you had just forged an exclusive relationship with me, it will be meaningless. So the Lord gave two answers to one question: What does that mean? Kapag ka tayo nagdadasal sa Diyos, kapag ka tayo may hinihingi sa Diyos, no, minsan o madalas, no, hindi lang yung kailangan natin ang binibigay ng Diyos sa atin. God gives or gives us even more than what we ask for. And what does it mean for us? Kapag ka tayo biniyaan ng Diyos na higit pa sa ating hinihiling o ating hinihingi, isa lang ang ibig sabihin nito. Share. Your blessing. Think about others, because what I'm giving you is not only for you. Hindi lang para sa yon ang ibinibigay ko. Kaya nga sobra ang sagot ko sa mga hinihingi mo. Sa pagkat gusto ko ng isipin mo at alalahanin mo ang iyong kapwa. Hindi lang para sa yon. Hindi lang ikaw ang mahal ko. Mahal ko kayo ng lahat. Be a blessing for others. Be an answer. To the prayers of others, masarap kapag ka na tanggap natin ang sagot sa atin mga dasal. Subalit mas may maganda pang pakiramdam sa kaysa sa natanggap natin ang ating sagot o ang ating hinihiling sa atin mga dasal kapag ka tayo na ang naging sagot sa dasal ng ibang tao. When we become a blessing for others, na pakasarap ng pakiramdam, no na hindi lang ikaw ang satisfied, na pakasarap ng pakiramdam sa bisan yon. Marami salamat, brother. Marami salamat, sister. Marami salamat sa yon, sa pagkat ikaw ang sagot sa dasal ko. You are not just somebody there. You are not just a neighbor. And please, don't just be a neighbor for others. 
be a blessing for one another. Let us all stand. Let us pray to God the Father that His love for us may inspire all and that His love may mark our attitude towards everyone. With every prayer, we all say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may never cease to proclaim love of God and neighbor as the heart of the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that we may never forget to show compassion to those who are underprivileged, unwanted, and unloved. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may treat every person with kindness and respect. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That by the gentle touch of the Spirit, we may have a deeper compassion for the sick and the elderly. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Pope, the College of Bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those for whom we promise to pray, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the vocations of the, and the needs of the province, and for our brothers in ministry at St. John Lateran and St. Albert the Great, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, and for our personal intentions, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Christ may bring to His eternal kingdom our departed loved ones. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have no one to pray for them, for those we have promised to pray for, for our brothers and sisters who have nothing, and for the intentions of this Mass, for the sick members of our families, and for our beloved loved ones, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Father, help us to love you and one another without measure as you do. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please all stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Look with favor, we pray, O Lord, for the offerings we dedicate, that they may be pleasing to, in your sight and always be salutary for us. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. 
it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. As we glorify you with countless angels, with one voice of praise we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis, his auxiliary bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her beloved spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
please all stand. Now full of love and confidence, let us pray to God our Father in the words our Savior taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy, thy will be done on earth as, as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us give each other the sign of peace. Peace with you. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please all kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us at the last to life. Amen.
Please all stand. <coughs> Teacher, what is the greatest commandment in the law? Jesus said to him, You shall love the Lord <coughs> your God with your whole heart. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come Shall to his people and set, set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, Savior, born of the house of his servant David. David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight, all, all the days of our life. You, my, my child, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Teacher, what is the greatest commandment in the law? Jesus said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with your whole heart. Let us pray. May your strength be at work in us, O Lord, pervading our minds and bodies, that what we have received by participating in this sacrament may bring us the fullness of redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. Now let us offer Oratio Imperata for the Archdiocese of Lingay and the Gupan. Let us turn to Saint Joseph who brings comfort to the afflicted and consolation for the sick to help us in our needs. Together let us say, Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Joseph, you saved the Savior from, the, from death in the hands of Herod. Save the world from the death of COVID-19, we pray. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Joseph, you suffered to see the child and his mother born in poverty in a manger. Stay with us as we endure our crosses of hunger, joblessness, and sickness due to COVID-19, we pray. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Joseph, you heard the prophetic words of Simeon to Mary that their heart would be pierced by the sword. Beg God to bless our efforts to end the pandemic through the vaccination program and observance of health protocols, we pray. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Joseph, you suffered protecting the child and his mother in exile in Egypt. Protect and shield from harm those who care for our brothers and sisters who are sick and dying, we pray. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Joseph, you were anxious when the child was lost for three days in the temple. Turn our COVID-19 fears, anxieties, and depression into hope, joy, and peace, we pray. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Let us pray. Saint Joseph, come to our aid in these times of anguish and anxiety. Take us under your care as we place our trust in you, now and forever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, thank you so much for joining us in the celebration of the Eucharist here at the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. May you have a meaningful pilgrimage and please have a safe trip back home. And for our brothers and sisters joining us by a live stream, we also thank you for being with us and we continue to pray for one another. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. Now we shall have the prayer for the blessing and healing of our sick brothers and sisters. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Let us pray. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all sickness and restore them to good health. To the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And now we pray for the blessing of your 
rosaries and other religious articles. Kung meron po kayo religious articles, pakilabas lang po. Bababa po kami dyan para basbasa ng inyong mga religious articles. Huwag na po kayo umalis sa inyong upuan. Let us pray in memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ and Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. May the rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.